What's happening YouTube Boy Tech Tricks back in another video and today we're going to show you how to rig up your Sony A6600. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell so you can notify the next videos to come of tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. And today we're looking at the A6600 rig from UU Rig, brought to you by Ulanzi. Basically, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this, fit it on our Sony A6600. This is not mine, this is just uh, lent to me. I just borrowed it to my brother. Timothy Taligato. If you want to subscribe to his channel, go ahead and do that. He shoots a lot of Sony A6600 and a lot of wide shots, landscape, and much more. So I'll link him down in the description below, so go ahead and check him out. But yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this and show you how it fits on A6600. Here we go. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty exciting actually. I don't know if you guys seen my past videos. I have a cage. I built a cage for the A7 III. I'll link that down below as well so go ahead and check that out. The first thing we found here is some literature and the uh, Allen key. Let's put that on the side for now. And then the cage itself. Let's put that on the side. We don't need that anymore. Let's take it out the bubble wrap right here. Put it on the side and there you go this is the cage right here very nice all metal of course let's see if we could fit that and the next thing we have a little bonus right here this is basically a top handle for that we can install here so let's go ahead and unbox this as well there you go this one's by Yuru Rig as well. So I'll link everything down in the description below. So go ahead and check them out. If you want to get one yourself I'll link that everything down below as well. There you go. Here, as you can see, there's a nylon key as well. Let's put that there. And then the actual handle and some literature. Got another sticker from Olanzi right here. There you go. Let's take this out right here. There you go. This is our Sony A6600 right here. Let's go ahead and um, fit the cage onto here. This lens is too big, so let's go ahead and take that off for now. Now that we've taken off the lens, let's go ahead and fit the cage right in here. See if it works. And there you go. And put our lens back so we don't get dust inside the sensor. And then all we need to do is just turn the bottom. Comes with the key as well, right there. So here we go. We were able to install the cage now on the Sony A6600. What do you guys think of that? I did have to take off the lanyard hoop on that right here so that it'll flatten more and it fits better that way. And this way it's more secure as well. It's not just secured on the bottom. It's secured right there as well. As you can see there, instead of putting your loop on this side, you would just put it right here on the designated loop. With the cage, you'll be able to have uh, a, two additional mounts. Now let's take a look at the cage, if it's blocking anything. So as you could see here, uh, everything is free to go. Uh, the only thing that I could see that is blocking is basically the dials are here, but you could still move them like freely just like that. So nothing is blocking actually. So that's pretty good. The buttons up there almost got blocked, but uh, still pretty good right there. You have to use the Allen key up there for this to work uh, perfectly, or else um, the buttons do get it won't it won't be on properly, and the buttons will be blocked a little bit. The other thing as well, the biggest thing of course is you want your batteries to still open freely, which it is right now. So that's pretty good. As you could see, there nothing is blocked. That's pretty good. And then the door is on the side here. As you could see, it's still good. There you go. Now if we take a look at the LCD, you'll be able to open it up and bring it up. No problem at all. Nothing's blocked. So 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at the handle right here. Basically with this, you'll be able to have a tube right here and add more uh, accessories with it. They have different mounting holes as well, different holes right there. Uh, a lot more up here, uh, shoe mounts, as you could see there, additional ones right here and right here, four more, that's pretty good. And then this one, you'll be able to mount it on our uh, cage. As you can see up here, this has the little four holes right there with a screw thing on the, on the front there. What you need to do is basically just take one of these if you want it to be mounted up there. Or what you could do is install it on the side as well. So you could have a side grip as well, just like that. <laughs> I wonder what else I can mount on this. And there you go. This is just the beginning. Here, as you could see, we were able to mount our transmitter on 400S, Mars 400S Pro. Here, an, an additional mic right there. With this, if you have a monitor as well, you can mount that up there and mount this on the front instead. Here, we also mounted a light for those of you who wants to shoot and wants to control the lighting that you have in the room. You'll be able to do that as well. And this is not all. There's a lot more possibilities with uh, with these mounts. I'll link everything down in the description below. So go ahead and check them out. They have more grips on their website and you'll be able to use it to whatever camera that you have. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on the UU Rig by Olanzi on your Sony A6600. If I was able to help you, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace. <laughs> you gotta love it, man. Oh yeah. That's a rig. <laughs>